there's also a video that I saw online of uh, Lane Staley jumping into the audience to beat up a fan who was being a dickhead, everybody. And then Lane gets arrested. It's like, it's crazy. Like all I, these stories. I kind of vaguely remember that. I, I mean, I do remember when Lane got on stage to play with the Screaming Trees. He, um, yeah, he was subbing for Mark and he sang Nearly Lost You. And I think that's actually the only song he sang. It sounded phenomenal. I only heard like 20 seconds of it, but he, he, it doesn't yeah. like that voice. It doesn't, it doesn't miss a beat. Yeah. Lane's voice was incredible. I mean, he, he was one of the, I think he might be the greatest singer I've ever worked with because he had that incredible voice. But when we did the Mad Season album, he would come into the studio with a fully realized vocal part, like with the lyrics and the melody and the harmonies and so he would sing it in real time of course because we're recording on tape and there's no auto tune back then i mean in 1994 you actually had to be a singer you actually had to sing in tune and sing like a human being no computer assisted technology and he would sing this beautiful lead vocal and then he would stack his backup you know his backing vocals in exactly the places where he wanted to do it and it would just be this incredible vocal performance that he heard in his mind and then just went out into the studio and just laid it down. I've never yeah. seen anybody since then be able to do that. It was really, really remarkable. 